Good afternoon and welcome to SHOT Show 2023. I'm Todd McDunn with Eagle Industries and today I'd like to showcase a lot of our new gear for you and also give you a little bit of a history lesson. It's a pleasure for me to work with Millspec Monkey again. I think this is about the fifth time we've worked together over the years and uh, happy to uh, showcase some of Eagle's new and latest and greatest and upgraded equipment. So the first thing I like to talk about is a little bit of a history lesson. So back around 1999, um, I was still in active duty military and I, I was lucky enough to be part of one of the first uh, load carriage systems using the Molly system ever in existence. What this really consisted of was a maritime load carriage system, a special forces load carriage system, and a ranger load carriage system. And it all was built around three core items. The first thing was the Cyrus vest, which all of you that are really into gear know about. The Cyrus was a releasable vest that was designed because of an aircraft mishap with the Marine Corps, where they, a lot of people drowned because their, uh, their armor system would not release. So the Cyrus had a pull handle, the whole vest came apart. I'm sure most of you are familiar with that. We have grown that into something special and modernized it. Um, the other thing that we did at the time was the MBAV. MBAV was the first real plate carrier ever in existence. And it's something that you know has grown out of Eagle and it's all here in industry. And the last thing, which I'm gonna showcase the modern version of for you, is the Rhodesian Reconnaissance Vest. Eagle Industries designed as part of the Special Forces Load Carriage System, the Rhodesian Reconnaissance Vest, and it's very special because it's lasted the test of time. We still sell thousands of them, even though we haven't modified it in any way. So this year we decided to take this thing and give it a facelift. So the Rhodesian Reconnaissance Vest of the past had a couple of core features to it. One was it had an admin pouch that you could release and fold away, kind of getting it out of the way, just allowing you to have just kind of the, the low H to it, freeing you up to get at your equipment and everything like that and get into your armor. The other thing that we uh, had in the past was pockets that allowed you to get into the inside, but to change this in, in the modern version, we use a series of removable front flaps that molly onto the front and then Velcro down. And that allows you to change all the different aspects of what you would need in a mission set. And I'll show you one of those removable front flaps uh, real soon here. The other core feature was cable management. The Rhodesian Reconnaissance Vest was one of the first uh, you know, vests that ever took cable management into consideration. I've really not changed the Rhodesian in any way from the past. This is exactly how the old school Rhodesian was laid out. The other neat thing is that we've kept the exact same adjustable system that we had in the past, which was just simply a Velcro H that you could spread or tighten and move up and down the aspects of the shoulder making a comfortable fit with a simple SR buckle in the back which made the timeless Rhodesian vest. The other really neat thing is just like the, uh, the Rhodesian of old, this allows you to carry your plate separate from your plate carrier. The original Rhodesian vest had a very unique slider system that allowed you to put any size plate inside and still have a nice clean Y because all of the adjustability was on a slider on the inside. We've kept that feature so regardless of if you have a small sappy plate in here or an extra large sappy plate in here, it's gonna fit nicely, tighten up nicely and you're not gonna have a big strap hang it down if you're using a small. The nice features about modernizing this thing is this thing was generally all 500D Cordura, some Velcro and elastic. What we've done now is in the plate pockets we're using modern four-way stretch. The radio pockets in the wings 
are also modern four-way stretch so they can accept a number of different radios. We're using Drylex in the shoulders and in the straps along the neck. Drylex is a really great material because it, get, it gives great moisture vapor transfer and it wicks moisture greatly. Plus it's very soft so that it's great for you know use up against your neck and it's really good for shoulder padding. And then just like everybody else we've gone to modern laminates. So by using laminates we're able to laser cut the front in such a way that you no longer have to sew all the rows of molly on, saving a lot of time, a lot of effort. It makes it nice and flat and clean and aesthetically pleasing. And then, of course, with the new sets of pouches that are all built with the same materials, you get a nice modern version of the Rhodesian. But the best part of this, the Rhodesian that you all love, the Rhodesian that you all know is right here before you in a modern way with very little changes. Good afternoon and once again welcome to SHOT Show 2023. I'm Todd McDunn for Eagle Industries and today I'm so happy to be working with Millspec Monkey again after all these years. I think this is the fifth or sixth time we've worked together in the last 10 years and uh, happy to be doing it again. So what I'd like to talk about now is uh, a little bit of a, a history lesson and some really neat things we're doing for uh, special operations and something unique you've probably never seen before. So what I'd like to talk about today is something that we're trying to work out of the trickle-down theory basically, something we're going to work out of special operations down into the mainstream. So um, without further ado, uh, this vest here is called the MMAC 2019. The MMAC 2019 stands for Multi-Mission Armor Carrier and is developed in 2019. So what we've got going on here is a fully modernized armor carrier that showcases the use of laminates, laser cutting as much as possible, uh, integrated pouches, integrated options for flotation, armor, and uh, removable front flaps so that uh, things can be modified and changed very quickly. Um, the back panels are zip-on capable so you can switch between uh, packs and move those to panels with pouches and panels and adapters already on them for quick adaptability for mission changes. Um, just looking at it at face value you can kind of see in the back here, we're utilizing four-way stretch and mesh so that the, you know, the plate pocket is efficiently holding the plates of any size. This particular one is in the swimmer cut, which is a little bit different than, uh, than the eSAPI. We make a version of this as well that will take the eSAPI, so uh, please ask us specifically about that if that's what you're uh, looking to produce. Another great thing about this is it's fully releasable. What it, it uh, releases using what's called a reverse pull on Velcro. So uh, a, a lot of uh, companies that have all kinds of releases and buckles and all those kinds of things, we try to really keep it simple and I think that's what resonated with SOCOM is the fact that what we're really doing is just pulling Velcro back on itself and easily tearing it away and then easily closing it back up if that's what's, uh, what's required. There's four releases, there's one in each shoulder, and there's one in each cummerbund. What this is doing is stripping it, Velcro right out of here, that'll drop away, and these are just ripping the cummerbunds right out of the, from underneath the removable front flap. The removable front flap is attached via this Velcro up underneath, and then it's just simply a removal of the Velcro, and you have full access to your cummerbund. Now, this premium cummerbund is a semi-skeletal version that will hold armor plates, flotation, soft armor panels, radios, and a myriad of other, of other options. This can be removed, however, and split bar SR buckles can be attached, and, they, and we can just literally put elastic straps in, making this a very small, almost concealable vest. The removable front flap is simply 
attached via one row of molly and then laid right down on either the cummerbund's velcro itself or the velcro under the vest underneath. The entire vest is laser cut, like I said, so there's very little uh, snag points. There's, there is no, uh, you know, molly that has to be sewn on or binding tape that has to be done. So it really makes it a nice, clean uh, vest overall. What I'd like to showcase here is a really neat option that uh, is used very infrequently, but it, uh, it's for very special people using them. And this is our buoyancy compensation system. So for those of you that are scuba divers, you know what a BC is. It basically, you're taking your scuba tank on your back and you're utilizing that compressed air in the tank to inflate your buoyancy compensation vest to help you ascend or, or descend by letting the air out. And that's what we've got going on here. So, it wouldn't be in this configuration, but you'd have a bottle like, such as this C Mark II from Aqualung USA, and then there would be a different adapt adapter on here, and that would be put into the back of the vest, and then it would go working through this tubing, and right behind this T here, there's an inflator. So what you would do is you turn on your SEA, you get the air flowing, you hit the inflator and the front and back of the vest would, would blow up. And then you would start ascending to the surface. Let's say that you had to make a safety stop. You could also set this in a configuration where you could be using this to breathe off of this if that's required. The dump valve is in the back. It's a small disc that when you pull this dump valve, it opens and closes letting out as much air as you need to keep you as deep or, or ascend all the way to the surface if, that, if that's your uh, desire. So we have an inflator, we have a dump valve, and then in this T we have the oral inflation tube. There's a neural here that allows you to lock it in place so it doesn't bleed out on you, but turning it back on itself, putting it in your mouth, push in with your teeth and inflate the vest and then lock it down. If you need to let all the air out of the vest for whatever reason, you undo the neural knob and just push down here and all the air will bleed out of it. Some of the options that come with this vest, if you're doing VBSS or operations like that, where you're carrying a lot of equipment, breaching equipment, you know, you've got linked ammunition and all this kind of thing and you don't want to be messing around with trying to blow this thing up, we have flotation inserts that can be put in right from the get-go and at that point you know you've just got a, a, a flotation vest that requires no effort on the end user. We have this in six by six and then the longer and then we even have can be mounted on the vest or on your belt a pecky type system which has a whole flotation system that would blow up on either side link it in the center and that's for long time you know water survival the other neat thing about this vest is a real minimalized yet very stable runs all the way down a, a drag handle and zip on panel this allows you to mount a myriad of different packs, whether that be our, our Yote, or some people call it Yote pack, our BTAP 2, 3, or 4, or then we have zip-on panels that allow you to set up for breaching or sniper operations or what have you. And those all are sold separately. So this is the uh, MMAC 2019 with the buoyancy compensation system. If you like this video and want to support us, check out the Millspec Monkey Store. Although known for morale patches, we also specialize in a good selection of DIY hardware and tactical accessories.